Today's lesson is on angle relationships, angle pair relationships. In your textbook, this is found in chapter 11, lesson one. If you look, there are four angle pair relationships that we're looking at today. They are adjacent angles, vertical angles, complementary angles, and supplementary angles. Adjacent angles are next to each other. If you notice, adjacent angles share a common side. Angle one and angle two are adjacent because they share a common side. They're sort of like neighbors. Vertical angles are formed by intersecting lines. Angle one is across from angle two. And if you notice, angle one is equal to angle two in size and shape. So vertical angles are congruent. Look at angles three and four now. They are also across from each other and congruent. Angle three equals angle four. Vertical angles are congruent. Congruent means same size and same shape. They are equal in size. So if angle one were 70 degrees, angle two would also equal 70 degrees. If angle three was 110 degrees, angle four would also be 110 degrees. Complementary angles have a sum of 90 degrees. They can be next to each other, adjacent, or they could also be separated from each other and still be called complementary angles. Angle one plus angle two equals 90 degrees. You could also have three angles that form a sum of 90 degrees and they would be complementary. To remember complementary, turn the C into a nine and you have a 90 degree sum, a sum of 90. These angles are supplementary angles. Supplementary angles have a sum of 180 degrees. They form a straight angle. Angle one plus angle two equals 180 degrees. Like complementary angles, they do not have to be adjacent and you could have two or more angles that have a sum of 180 and they would be called supplementary. If you want to remember the difference between supplementary and complementary, notice to turn the S into an eight and we have 180 for supplementary angles. Straight angles, supplementary angles. Four types of angle pair relationships again are adjacent angles, vertical angles, complementary angles, and supplementary angles. In the next slides, you will be answering questions and solving for the value of missing angles. For example, look at supplementary angles. If angle one is 100 degrees, then angle two must be 80 degrees because 100 plus 80 equals 180 degrees. If you'd like to, you might print this page now. And thank you very much for listening.